Welcome to another Random Road Story by the real John King, a.k.a. Rubber City Slim, comedian and musician. I guess I'm a storyteller now. Um, hey, uh, this story here, this is another uh, encounter with the uh, with law enforcement. This was uh, a summer day. I don't know exactly uh, what month or what year. I would say it was sometime in in the 80s. Probably the 80s because I had that same little um, 1984 blue Honda Civic hatchback. And on this particular day, I was traveling through South Carolina. I was on the freeway. I was on, I think it was 85 uh, East. It's traveling through Greenville, South Carolina. And um, I got pulled over by uh, one of the, the uh, local Greenville police officers. Uh, he pulled me over and um, he walked up to my car and he did the uh, standard, you know, the standard procedure. Let me see your driver's license. Let me see your registration and your in proof of insurance. And I had all of that stuff. And uh, he asked me, where was I going? And I told him I was a comedian. I was on my way to Charlotte to do a, a comedy show. And then he asked me the standard uh, questions. You have any drugs? You have any alcohol? No, he did. No, you have any drugs? You got any guns? Or do you have anything uh, illegal in your car? And I said, no, I do not. He said, well, do you mind if I search your car? And um, I told him I didn't mind. Now, I knew that I didn't have to consent for a search of my car, but hey, I was on my way to do a gig, man. I, I didn't have anything to uh, hide. And I knew if I gave him the consent, I could just be on my way. And that's all I wanted to do. So he told me to step out the car and come around to the back of the car. And then he had me to open my trunk. And I did. And um, he looked at um, some of the stuff. I had like some luggage back there, but I carried a uh, briefcase. And uh, he saw my briefcase and he said, uh, do you mind opening that briefcase for me? And I said, I sure will. So I opened up the briefcase and this dude started, this dude started uh, searching through my briefcase, man. You know, rumbling through it and stuff. And I had this one uh, compartment where I had some uh, photos, I had some photos of myself. It was like little small uh, photos. I don't know what size they were, but little, little wallet size photos of me, my wife, and I just had a a picture of my uh, youngest son at the time. And he looked at the photos and, and there was a one particular photo that was a family photo. It was me, my wife, and my son. And the one, it was my son when he was like really young, you know, like a toddler picture. And he said, is uh, this your uh, wife and kid right here? And I go, uh, yeah. He said, I see you a family man, huh? I said, yeah, yep. He said, uh, he said, all right. He said, you can, you can close that up and you can close the trunk. And he said, um, uh, the reason why I stopped you is because in the summertime, at this time of day, people are traveling. He said, they're either traveling on vacation or they're, uh, probably doing something that's not related to vacation. He said, now, this time of day is when somebody should be at work. And he said, the fact that you are traveling, doing working hours, that created a suspicion. And I I don't know why that would be, but then again, I kind of I kind of do. I kind of understand it. So uh, he said, so that was the reason why I pulled you over. He said, but I see that you are just a working man and you're a family man and you probably like me just trying to, you know, support yourself and your family. He say, so um, I'm not going to, you know, write you any citation. He say, uh, but just be careful out here, man. And um, you can uh, go ahead and uh, leave. And I was like, well, cool. Cool. So I got my car, man. And I was on my way. I thought that was kind of, um, uh, you know, an odd thing, man, that 
he uh, it seems to me that as soon as he saw that I had a family and that I was I, I was a, a legit person, that that's all he needed to satisfy his suspicion of me. And um, I'm just glad I had them family photos in there because that just seemed like the um, thing that made him, you know, have a different uh, look on what kind of person that I was. And I know, you know, black men get profiled a lot. And um, I don't know, man, it was just it just seemed kind of odd and kind of strange. But I'm just glad he let me go without any incident. And I know there's nothing exciting about that story and nothing funny about that story. It's just another one of those, um, you know, encounters with law enforcement while I was out there on the road, man, trying to get from point A to point B. Well, that's it for me on that story. Take care and y'all be safe out there.